What's going on guys, JB Tech here back with another video and today I'm actually going to be doing a review over an app called Minitune. And what Minitune does, it basically it gives you the ability to display your album artwork from whatever song you're playing on iTunes and or Spotify on your desktop. So let's get started with this review. Alright guys, so let's get started with this and first we're going to open up Minitune and I'll show you how this works. So this works for both iTunes and Spotify. So let's just choose a song. Um, um, there we go. Okay. And this gives you the controls to pause, play, and go back and skip tracks back and forth, you know. And then also gives you the volume button right here so you can turn it up and down all through this app. And it actually displays the artist down here along with the album right here, the album name. And then at the bottom it displays the title of the song. So this, let's check out some preferences. One thing I really liked about this was you can set, if you check this right here, set dyke, dyke, <laughs> set doc icon. Yeah, it actually displays the album artwork on their dock. So I thought that was pretty cool about this app. As you see, like it displays all the album artwork of whatever song you're playing. And also thanks to Growl, the they integrated the Growl onto this app. So it displays right here in the corner of your screen what song's playing. So if you have all these windows open, it lets you see what songs playing if you skip a track or the next song plays so I think that's pretty cool you also have the ability to keep it behind the other windows or just keep it on top of everything whenever you click on it to open it back up and also you have the ability to check and uncheck whatever it, it controls so right here I have both Spotify and iTunes and it actually has the integration of last FM so you can connect your username and then have it play whatever is on last FM or on your account and like I said growl you can enable growl to display the title and everything up on the top right hand side of your screen you can also enable some shortcuts I don't have any shortcuts I just use my keyboard to play pause and all that good stuff volume up volume down and the skins, they actually just updated it with the newest update. They added the LP, so you can actually make it look like a little vinyl, which is pretty cool right here. And the colors, you can actually change the colors. So say your background, you can't view the white in your background. You can change it up. The artist and album text. And why did I just choose pink? <laughs> Let's go with the green. And then the track name, text color, as you see right here, some blue or black. See that? That's pretty cool that you can change that just in case you can't see it. Whatever with whatever screensaver you have, or whatever is displayed on your screen. So let's check out Spotify. Let's get out of iTunes real quick and see how it works with Spotify. Uh, I like the police, so let's play some police. As you see right here, it has a police album artwork. So it works for both iTunes and Spotify, so I think that's pretty cool how they have it working for both. Um, also, you can select whatever uh, speaker output you want to do. Built-in output, I don't have these connected, so I don't know what those are actually, but anyways, um, I kind of wish they had um, AirPlay on here. That'd be pretty cool. You can select whatever AirPlay device you have connected to your computer. That'd be pretty neat. So you can control it from here and whatnot. So hopefully, maybe in the next update they'll have that. Also, something else. I wish you can kind of, I guess, change the albums or playlist through this but sadly you can't do that yet maybe like I said with another with an update you can maybe do that next so I don't know those are just my little 
cons on it the whole speaker maybe airplay add that and then uh, change the album or the playlist through here somehow have like a little button like this so you can change the playlist that pretty cool maybe I don't know just thought but anyways that's it for this review this app is available in the Mac App Store for $1.99 thanks again to the execution unit team for letting me review this I'll leave everything down below in the description bar go ahead and comment let me know what you think of this app and like my video and subscribe and also follow me on Twitter Facebook and Google Plus so until next video I'll see y'all later guys thanks for watching peace